DIY furniture building with Sam series. Recently, I built my very first DIY flat packed shoe cabinet. It's pretty mint, wouldn't you agree? And I did tell you I am going to be showing you what's going to be going in my cabinet. So this is basically a massive trainer haul. How about that? A nice little vlog type update just to show you what is exactly going in my cabinet. Why not? It's sunny, we've got summer around, well we have summer. I was going to say around the corner but we have summer. So let's just show you exactly what there is trainer wise. So before we get into this, smash that like button, let me know what you think to these in the comments. Let me know which one is your favourite and I will reply and subscribe if you're new because that's what you need to be doing. Get those post notifications turned on. If you don't get them turned on, you're going to be missing out. Guess what? You don't want to miss out. Let's go. Let's get started. Here we go guys. So the only pair I have of these type of trainer, these are called Lee Cooper uh, and they're very nice denim basically, they're like, um, oh my god, I literally cannot, they're like Vans, that's the word I was looking for, they're like Vans, the only difference is Vans are, they don't have like the high heel bit, which is fair enough, um, I've never really got into Vans in the past, I mean these are not, you know, the cleanest, I've not worn them in a little while to be honest, um, but you can see it has got the logo there, the, the original nice white trainer, lace there, and they got like uh, the Lee Cooper there, the, the, the denim detail, so they're quite, they're quite a nice trainer, and they feel so comfortable when they're on. A thick base too, I'll just show you the other one quickly. So yeah. If not, I haven't got any others other than these Lee Cooper ones. But if you like Lee Cooper or you like Vans or that style of trainer, then these are the trainers for you. I may invest in some other ones to be honest and like not keep these, I'm not too sure, but trainer one. These are the only style trainer again that I have and the laces are like that, I'll tell you why in a minute. So these are called... Nike Sport, it's Nike basically, but the only style of trainer that I've got of this particular style. So just the plain white trim, you've got your tick obviously, and the reason why I've got laces like that is because you have to pull the one, one or two um, laces up before you get it on your foot, just because it's a bit of a tighter shoe here to get on, so I always like to make it a little bit easier and you know, let, let, let me get my shoe in, or oh, my foot in should I say, you know they're not, I've not cleaned them so for me to not clean them they're pretty in nice nick should we say, and again the Nike uh, logo, uh, red laces obviously to match, and again a very solid trip. Next trainer. So I only have two pairs of these particular style and these are Skechers. So I've actually really got into Skechers only in the last couple of years to be honest. So we've got, I'm not particularly sure what these ones are called, um, but I believe that when I bought them there was Skechers something either rainbow or multicoloured um, and obviously it didn't make sense because Look how colourful they are. So, obviously, you've got the logo, you've got the uh, tongue there with the name on, and they're just all round nice, neat trainers. Bottom a little bit dirty, but hey, whose trainers aren't? And the back is pretty neat too. Uh, laces, black. I suppose you could get different coloured laces if you wanted, but uh, I've kept them black. So I'll be wearing these a little bit more now it's summer and no black but the rainbow bit I think really breaks it up with whatever outfit you want to wear and unbelievably guys these are so comfy. Look at the sole, like you might not be able to see that awfully well but that is so comfy to actually walk on because you kind of bounce 
maybe not bounce, but like you spring when you're walking them because they're that soft and springy. And it's, I think it's memory foam, and correct me wrong, I'm sure they are made out of memory foam. So, I, I, it's especially like, when I um, got told to try them, I was like, hey, for real, memory foam in my shoe, I don't think so. And then when I tried them on, they're so comfy. So, yeah, they're sketches. These are even more brighter. These are called Flex Soul sketches. So there you go, you got the label again. You've got the multicolored pattern. So yeah, and then obviously you've got your logo again on the tongue. So I really like these ones. It's kind of one of them. Like if you're wearing maybe dark color with it or any other colors will go with it. And then there's the left one. So I only have two sketches, but I will be purchasing more sketches in the future. Now this is, I only have one pair of as well, which I forgot I only had one. So these are, <laughs> they're actually, apparently, professional running shoes. Not that I need professional running shoes, but I like the look of them. Oh well, hey, that's what I do. If it's comfy and it's a good price, if they're not something that's well known, but I like them, then I don't really care. Obviously, people who do run, go running and they have running shoes will probably know about them. But these ones are called Carry More, I believe, and D30. Obviously, that's just the style of the shoe, um, the make of this one. So you've got, obviously, the navy going with the yellow. I thought they were really nice and you got the pink trim going on there. So yeah, I really like these ones. Uh, to be honest, I've not really had much usage out of them, which is the word I was looking for. I think I've literally on more than twice since I've got them. But now it's summer and now I've got all my shoes organised, which you'll see in a minute in my cupboard, and they'll be get worn a lot more. And that's the left side. There we go. We are now down, guys, to fire trap. Now, I'm sure you've heard of fire trap in the past. But these are ever so slightly a little bit dirty, but I love red. I think you should know by now. Red is my favourite colour. So yeah, I thought I'd uh, get some nice red fire trap. And these are, um, oh, I'm not sure the word. Like this is mesh. That's mesh. And then I think this is like, I think it's just cotton, you know? Um, any standard soft shoe. And then the bottoms are like really clean. You can see I've not hardly worn. Well, to be honest, I have worn these a lot. I took them on holiday um, as well. And I really like these because they're so lightweight. Um, so even like if you're out and about abroad, they're like really good. I need to, oh dear. That side's a bit dirty. Deary me, look at that like. But yeah. And then we've got the fire trap logo there. And the F on the back. I'll tell you what I did. I did get a good deal on these from Damn, I can't remember the name of the shop. I'll tell you why, because I've not shopped there in a little while. But they do like a massive discount all year round basically for like top of the name brands. Instead of like going round um, and paying anything between obviously the top price and only getting like 20% off. These you can get up to like 50% off on the website and when I find it out it will be on the screen here because I'm just really bad sometimes at remembering the website's name but I don't go on it for regular but there you go. So that's the first my track. These literally, I'm not even joking when I say this, are brand new from the same store I got them from online. Literally, you can tell these are brand new. Even still got the sticker inside, inside the shoe there. <laughs> these are so, so new. I need to wear these in, look, they're so nice. These are called 
these are called Fire Trap Doctor Kingdom, believe it or not, these are gorgeous. And if you want these, um, I'll leave a link in the description for the website I got them from. I don't know if they still sell them, but uh, it's worth checking out, like these are so shiny. These are navy, are so gorgeous. This is just amazing. That is so soft. And it's spongy too, the, the um, sole's so spongy too, you've got a nice white rim. And then you've got that pattern at the bottom, gorgeous. And then you've got your fire trap metal bracket there. So yeah, I really love these. These are going to be. Um, I'm going to wear these a lot more this year. I show you the the, the right one. Yeah, absolutely gorgeous, guys. Now these ones are gorgeous. I wanted them in red too and because I got them other red ones and then I got another um, a black pair for work which unfortunately because I wore them out so much I don't have them anymore but the same style of shoe but they were in black and look how gorgeous these ones are. These are brand new again I've literally not worn them. Uh, where is it? There's a sticker so literally these are so gorgeous I cannot wait to wear these and these are called Doctor Kingdom again, these are basically the same make, the same style. Oh, they're so gorgeous, look at that label. And the bottom, again, we've got red and white. you got a nice theme going on with these Kingdom ones. I love that shininess to that, that's absolutely amazing. So yeah, like I said, I'll, we'll leave a link in the description for the website I got them from, and hopefully, if you want them, you can get them. And there's the other one. <laughs> We are on to Nike again now, but the Air Max. I've got the I've got other um, ones, but these are Air Max. These I got them in drum roll, please. January 2017. I remember that because I remember overspending at Christmas, and then I saw these. And it's a particular YouTuber that was showing his collection off and then I saw these and I fell in love. I had to get them. I mean, why not? The red as well. So there we go. They are gorgeous. The Air Max. And there's the uh, Air Max again. You've got your tongue with the Nike Air Max on. I mean, I don't know whether it'd be nice to have white laces. Maybe to get them stand out a little bit more, but I love these ones. I actually wore these today. So yeah, and then there's the bottom, the sole. I don't know, some people like to see the sole just to see what kind of grip some shoes and trainers have. But I still look, I still got the wrapper in them. Because even though my box is not very good, that's my box. <laughs> but I'm keeping them that way. These are called, you want the full name, here we go. Nike Air Max 90 Ultra Moira. They're gorgeous. And then there's the right one. Bear with me guys, I've got a bit of tummy ache and it's just been horrible. But uh, yeah. So then we've got more Nike Air Max. These are literally one of my favourite trainers. I've still got the wrapper in. Because I don't know, I just like to keep it all nice and neat. Um, this box, unfortunately, it's too big to fit in my cabinet, so I've just kind of got rid of it and thought the other ones I can keep in the box and keep them nice and neat, I will, but it's okay because I've worn these a lot more than the others, so it's kind of okay just to keep it out of the box, but look at these bad boys. And then there's the bottom. They're really cool. I really like the fact that it's all raised on either side and then you've got the square in the middle and there is the other one more Nike Air Max so we've got a nice pink don't think there's an owl, oh, well, there probably is you know oh Air Max Fear these ones Nike Air Max Fear so I saw these and I thought you know what I really have to have them and this was I don't know how long ago this was Maybe it's just a couple of years ago, to be honest. A um, bit faded there, but... I mean, I love the deep 
pink and then there's the tongue, the back and underneath Bob's your uncle. And then there's the left one. Now we're on to Nike Fly Knit Max. And I'm quite getting obsessed with these fly knit ones. Just because of the design of them, I mean, look at all the colours. That's why I really like them. And then you've got the colours underneath. Yeah. They're a bit tighter here because I tightened the laces up. But And then the, the left one. More Nike Air Max, which... Uh, very very nice very pink and orange again and then a bit they're really nice and then you've got the uh... can you see it this is air max there basically that's what i'm trying to show you very very nice i don't know the exact name found it they're called Nike Air Max Running Natural Ride Soft. However, they're just saying that's what the sole is like because they are pretty spongy. I don't know. But yeah, 2015. Look at the state. We are onto something that I was kind of obsessed with growing up as a teenager, this type of trainer. And they're still really comfy and nice to this day. I've not bought them in a few years though, but these are from Scoop. I don't know if you know the shop, but there's a couple not far from me. Uh, if you want to look it up and go in there. But it's, the problem with Scoop is, I'll tell you a little story, like back in the day. Um, obviously growing up, Scoop used to be so, so popular with these. Not this particular type of shoe, because I got these on Line, but I'll show you this as quickly just to go with my story. But those type of shoes from Sku, the Etnies, I used to always call them Entines because it sounds better. But that type of trainer used to always be in Sku, and now it's gone like really weird. I don't know what kind of trainers they're trying to portray recently in the last few years but it's not what I remember growing up and that to me is quite sad because it doesn't feel like it's skew anymore which is a little bit sad because that's where I used to be obsessed with I used to get all my trainers from there but the time goes on and shops just don't do what they used to do anymore but this one was online on the official DC shoe USA website I remember I got these in, I believe, Christmas 2016, which is the reason why I say I overspent because I got these and then I saw these in the January as well, and I but I got them anyway. <laughs> I remember, so this is roughly the same age. Um, these ones are so nice, they've got gold glitter. Oh, there you go, you can see it on the lace. Um, so these particular ones are called Women's Rebound High. I don't have the box anymore. So they're in a different box for a different shoe. I don't have any more. But it's skew basically. So these are so so nice. The gold and the black go together so nicely. So you've got the DC logo, you've got gold glitter all on the uh, lace. You've got that there. And you can see on the actual shoe the little holes and I've kept these quite nice and I've worn these quite a few times got the USA the glitter the logo I thought this was pretty cool they've done that as well and then that's the style of the shoe under the sole it's better sole but yeah these these are so gorgeous and these ones again I'll show you how gorgeous they look. Just look how gorgeous they look. Yeah. I'll be wearing them too this year. You've seen a little bit of these. These, I'm gonna keep calling them end times. I don't like the 
E-T-N-I-E-S. -E -E I think you meant to say etnies. But who says that like? I mean, how bad does that sound? I'm just going to call them enterhines. That is what I've called them since day one. So anyway, yeah, these are, these are the guards. Yeah, these have been going around a long time. So we got the logo on the back. You've got that cool uh, dotted design, white laces. And then you've got the E on there. You've got the little Times logo there. And then underneath, this is what I loved about these shoes so much. You've got it out of the bottom. You've got it roll on the sole. On the sole. Just like that. Oh, I. I, I really do love these style, but like I said, Skew, in my opinion, have really gone downhill so much over the years. And they just don't make trainers in this style anymore as much as they used to. Which is a crying shame for all the skater fans out there because they are skater style shoes and that was what I was obsessed with. So we are on to one of the newest style at then times. DC Shoe USA, I got these online. Oh god, I, you know what, it was the same year as, as these black ones that I've just shown you. It was the same year because I remember treating myself at Christmas and then I kind of treated myself in January. But that's a different story. So look at these gorgeous ones. So we've got the logo there, the gorgeous deep blue laces. I should sponsor these, shouldn't I? That'd be a really good thing. Uh, you've got DC Shoe USA. Oh yeah, you've got the blue trim all the way down. The sole is still rocking. It's still mint like, look at that. And uh, that's aqua and deep navy, deep sea blue. Look at that. Look at that aquaness. Can you see? Look at that aquaness. It's like my shoe. But yeah, and that's so soft as well. Like that's so soft. And I love that design, that's the reason why I got them. I think there was an option to get them in pink as well, but. I wanted both, you see, that's the problem. I see some that I like and they do it in more than one colour. And I know I'm gonna end up using it. I want it. So uh Yeah. So I got the blue ones. I thought, you know what, I don't have any blue trainers as such. That's why I got the blue ones. But aren't they gorgeous? Bam! Final pair, guys. I got these. Four and blue ones. So probably 2015, and I know you think that's quite old to keep for a shoe, but I've not really worn them that much. So I'm not too sure whether I'm gonna keep these ones. May have been 2014, I don't know. I mean how long are you meant to keep a pair of trainers? Like if they're still in good nick, why would you get rid of them? That's my uh, opinion. So uh, these were the school design. That's the reason why I got them, because I really wanted the school design. So you've got the end signs there. They're still going with it on the bottom, which is really nice and neat. You've got that side just black, but what topped it off for me was they gave you a red pair of trainers. Red pair of trainers, I'm wondering about red pair of laces, because they actually are meant to be in black. But they gave you a free red pair of laces, is what I mean, when you bought them. So, uh, I thought it'd be pretty cool and do this with them. Well hey, look at that! So yeah, that is my final pair of trainers guys. If you want me to give you an update trainer wise in the future, let me know because I'm more than happy to do this again. Once you get into it, it's really fun and I really enjoyed it. So that is what I'm going to end it on. But there's that, not trainers, but they're going in the cabinet so you might as well see them. And the new. Again, everything's new. Dun, 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 dun. We have Paul Frank flip flops. Yes, we do. Actually, the sandals really are new. They're brand new, literally a brand spanking new. I love Paul Frank. I remember being at school and they're trying to um, get you into being Paul Frank. And you know what Paul Frank is all about in the UK? The 
you, you know the reason why they were trying to get us into it. Regardless of what they were trying to portray it with the poor Frank saying, I just love the monkey. So ever since, I love the monkey of Paul Frank and I actually do really love it that much. I've got like Paul Frank pyjamas and all that too. <laughs> so it's so cool. So I'll be loving them on holiday. There you go. Paul Frank flip flops. I love the rainbow that they do with it and the monkey is just so cool. So they're going in my cabinet as well. But I'll just show you that like. Why not? How bad is that guys? I missed my favourite pair out. One of my favourites, I'd say they are my favourite. Yeah, because I wore them uh, and I kind of forgot it was in the corner. <laughs> so here we go. We have Nike Air Max. We have Nike Air Max Luna One Jackie JCRD J High Punch. Yeah. I was I remember literally hunting down for these because I wanted them that badly and I got them and I believe that was I really did go on a good spending spree of trainers in 2015-16 and then I kind of stopped in 2017 so these were the ones I was after so badly and if you like these two colours together you'll understand why they're a little bit dirty so we'll be cleaning these but oh my god so we got the tongue the nike tick the bubble like i said these are the ones i've worn a lot most recently so that they do need a little clean but they've got such a gorgeous design on the bottom i most definitely will be cleaning these and that's the left side the left shoe should i say not much to say about them other than I absolutely love them. I promise guys that's my final pair. I mean that was longer than expected. I promise. Last year. This is the old style of DC that I told you that um one of the first ones that I got. So you can imagine they are old but look at our design. The design on the side made me want to buy them so much and then they were, were laces that I just bought to go with them but these really are knackered, they are for the scrapyard and I'll tell you why because look at the sole that yeah they're so worn they're from the DC shop as well as on about the skew shop and even that side's really bad yeah they're quite badly worn in but why am I keeping them? knocking about in the garden that is what I use so don't go out buying you know cheap trainers some people do that they go out buying cheap trainers they can do odd jobs around the house paint in or whatever or using the garden these literally are my gardening trainers so or going out and doing whatever in the garden so final pair promise but not really part of my collection but I thought I'd show you the old style of DCs so I really do thank you for checking in on this channel once again I really appreciate it like I said if you want any future trainer montage or face in the future I'm sure there will be some of them in the future let me know and when the time's right you will get it and subscribe get your post notification bell on people you need to be doing that and then you will know when i upload if not you can always just come to the channel click on random things exclamation mark channel and you will see if there's a new upload but yeah that's that's all we have time for today and Such a fun vlog to film guys, let me know your favourite trainers down in the comments, let me know what your favourite style of trainer is, and of course, subscribe if you're new.